foundations for this home were laid in the Kalahari, where wildlife manager Mark met New York ad executive Wendy. Sparks flew, they were married and decided to start a reserve of their own. The minute I set foot here, I knew that this was going to be one of the most beautiful homes I'd ever been to. Oh, we love it. It's very peaceful here. It's very important for us to sort of feel like you're among nature. The natural colors in the thatch roof obviously just enhances the fact that it's one with nature. Absolutely. I think we really wanted to use as much of the natural vegetation and, and natural elements as possible. So the, the roof in itself is made out of reeds that are grown in this area. We spent a lot of time hand designing the roof and ensuring that the lines were soft and the elements were soft and that it actually just fitted into the environment and the shape of the landscape. They achieved this soft integration by segmenting the roof and sinking the structure into the surrounds. African design and craft set the scene in the entrance with mounted shields from Cameroon and round ceremonial masks from Ivory Coast. They commissioned an abstract rhino portrait which enjoys pride of place in an environment where giraffe, wildebeest, zebra and eland are often seen. And the garden is an 11,000 hectare private game reserve. What a spectacular view. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. Oh, I mean, this is my best. Every day, looking at those mountains. I must say, there's something so cool when you look outside and there's just animals in your front lawn. It's pretty special. And then, of course, double volume ceilings is a great way to accentuate space. You know, that's the beauty of a thatch roof. It's so natural and lovely to look at. So when you can have the double volume, it's just, it's my best. I love it. And so we did that throughout the entire living area because we really love bringing that sort of natural element in. Wendy and Mark have been developing this organic and contemporary lodge style since they first moved to Mossel Bay. The mix of African elements with textured natural decor reflects the 12 years they spent establishing this bush estate from old cattle and sheep farms. So you're the lovely lady responsible for helping to bring this beautiful vision to life. Yes, the challenge here was our space. It was our scale and we had to get that into proportion. And when we found these lights, we came out to sight, we put them down and Wendy, <laughs> Wendy's eyes were almost as big as the lights. <laughs> what are you going to do with this? I said, well, you need to trust us on this, Wendy, because you know what, this is where we have to start. Miniature Makoro boats bring a touch of the Okavango, while the copper-finished lights lend a warm African glow. Horns made of wood and plaster add that bush feel. Between the modern rhino painting and underbelly figurines, the continent is reflected in a host of ways. What are some of your favorite pieces in the home? The Dobbin ladders from Mali. The Malians use these ladders to get onto their roofs. For us, we needed them because they are voluminous and it also connected with the volume of the roof. The house doubles as the Rutherfords' personal retreat when they're on the reserve as well as being used as an exclusive safari lodge. So it had to be spectacular, warm and friendly. The kitchen was interesting because we didn't want to draw too much attention to the kitchen so that when guests are here, you just feel like you're in this lovely kind of living space. And we made this kind of trendy little wine cafe area where it's, you can kind of go sell, help yourself like and pull out a beautiful wine from this custom wooden main wine rack. And then we have the Zuti coffee machine where you can just have anything yeah. under the sun. Yeah. We had some serious teamwork there. The decor references the wildlife context of Ulubisi. Epic folding window doors frame views of game and the surrounding Lungeberg and Otaniqua Mountains. These open plan, expansive glassed living areas and bedrooms showcase interiors that are modern and inviting. Wow, Wendy, this is really impressive. It's really great that you actually kept the consistency right throughout the home. Thank you. I think we carried a lot of the same touches through. We used the same local wood artisans for the closets and the mirror, all handmade and bringing in the African elements with the, the hide and the poof and the texture and, and then some hits of color to pull on the fainbo. So, I mean, these bedrooms are very luxurious in their space. We just thought it was fun with the nice open bathroom and, you know, you really can sort of enjoy the outdoors even from your bathtub. Wooden custom-built cabinetry by award-winning designers Maya von Willich merges the interiors with the surrounding grassland. This contrasts with the cement floors, while the fabrics are natural but colorful, playing on the vibrant fainboss of the reserve. 
All the bedrooms are lovely. They're all a little different. The other bedroom actually is the double volume, like the living area, which is lovely because you have the open thatch. Because it is so voluminous, we had then a, a lovely sisal carpet that's gone wall to wall, so it really warms up the space. And then upstairs is actually, it's kind of the kids' room, but it is, it's, it's lovely because it has this beautiful balcony that just looks out above all of this, but it has a lovely vantage point, just being that bit elevated. Now that we've seen some of the favorite places in the home, I'm interested to see where Mark's favorite place is. You ready to go? Let's go find him. Much passion and hard work invested over the years has seen Mark and Wendy establish a big five reserve with bush homes, a safari lodge, and their own escape. I can totally understand why this is one of your favorite places in the home. Absolutely, you know, we wanted to create a cozy environment and so we decided to recess this and define the space. You know, the rest of the house is quite expansive and we just wanted to make a nice little niche here. And this wooden panel behind me is quite a unique feature. And we wanted to bring in a nice den type feel into this room, but you know, we bookended it with these both big, beautiful windows and it just been able us to feel like we're bringing the wilderness back into the office while we're here. Speaking about the wilderness, I think it's time we go enjoy some fresh air. Connecting the bedroom wings to the living area, the deck is expansive, understated, and brings the pool into the footprint of the house. Of course, your lovely home has a fantastic name. How did you come up with it? Ulubisi is named after the uh, Black Harrier that frequents this area. And when we were setting up the house, we would often see it soaring over these areas and hunting. And uh, still to the day, it comes back, and uh, we just thought it would be an appropriate name to name it after that special bird. Born and raised here, their nine and six-year-old children, Lucy and Ben, are helping with wildlife work and learning to be guardians of this new reserve their parents have established. <laughs> 